Well, you know that how much important a well-optimized PC is for playing games. And that's what I did in my last video. Hope that you watched that one. Cause this video is a sequel to that one. But tweaking your windows and optimizing it has only 20% impact on your game performance. I'm not saying it's a waste of time, but it's just a cherry on the top of a cake. And in this video, I will show you how you can make the whole cake step by step with all the ingredients and with some secret ingredients of my own. The cake is called optimizing the game. Trust me, you can't run a game smoothly, does not matter how much your PC is optimized. If your game is not optimized, you just can't run it smoothly. Hi, this is Lowen Gaming and in this video, I will show you step by step how you can optimize any game. I literally mean any game, whether it is a single player offline game or a multiplayer online game, whether it is an open world game or an indie game. When I say any game, it includes all the games and play it on any PC. But sometimes people take this statement in a literal manner. When I say this, I don't mean that you can run Cyberpunk 2077 on a dual core or no graphics card PC. After watching this video, if you think you can do that, please man, just dislike this video and leave the video right now. Others who are still watching, listen to me carefully. You can only optimize those games which can at least run or open on PC. If you are not even able to open the game, what the fuck are you gonna optimize? If you still think you can optimize the game, you can't even open, then just optimize your PC and play Windows. So to make things easier, I have a golden rule. Open your game, it opens, you try to play it and it at least runs on 5 to 10 FPS. Then my friend, you are good to go. The game can be made playable. If the game does not satisfy the golden rule, don't stress too much, just give up. So now you know if your game could be optimized or not. To make you believe that all the steps shown in this video work wonders, I will optimize a game from scratch and apply all the steps shown in this video. If you are wondering which game, it's Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, which has this minimum system requirements. But I am going to show you how it can be played smoothly on my PC with these specs. All you got to do are 5 simple and quick steps. You can see the difference before and after optimizing the game. Basically this video is all about how I make my lag fix videos for you guys. So without wasting any time, let's see how the cake is made. So as always, the first one is the most basic but the most important step for optimizing any game, the in-game settings. The in-game graphics settings are the safest and the most effective way to boost performance, often giving 30 to 70 percent more FPS by lowering resolution, shadows, effects, etc. They are reliable since they are officially supported and they are not even complicated. All you have to do is go to graphic settings of any game and lower or disable all the graphic settings. The in-game settings could be divided into three main parts and a golden rule for each one. First is resolution. Most of the time, keep it to your display's native resolution, lower it only when you have a very low end PC. Sometimes, just by lowering the game resolution, you can get a tremendous FPS boost. Second, it's the graphics quality settings. Without any second thoughts, change them to lowest or disable them, because you can either have quality or FPS, not both on a low end PC. The last one is the super resolution or frame generation techniques. This may or may not be available depends on your game or the graphics card you have. Assuming all you have a low end PC with no GPU, this option may not be available. But even if they are, be careful using them. This might lower the loads on your GPU. But if your PC is CPU limited, though super resolution won't help much, it can even worsen your FPS in game. So try them and if they don't work, disable them. Same goes for frame generation. So after changing all the in-game settings, this is how the game works. So if you are watching my videos from a long time, you have already guessed what the next step will be. Config files are very important for a low-end PC when you want extra control beyond the games option. They won't replace in-game settings but they are the best way to push performance further once you have already lowered everything in the middle. 
They are like the hidden settings menu developers don't expose in game. I am not going to stress this more but config files are literally game changers. But it depends on many factors like the game engine of the game or the game even supports config file editing at all or in multiplayer online games it's risky editing a config file it might get you banned. So for editing the config file first you need to find it. For every game the config file location may be different. I have a simple way to find config file for any game. Go to your browser and type in your game name and then type PC Gaming Wiki. Open the first website and scroll down and you will find everything about the game here. Go there and open the file with either notepad or notepad plus plus. Now comes the tricky part where you mess up one setting and it can totally fuck up your whole game. Config file editing is all about trial and error. It's time consuming and that's where I step in. I can do all that for you and find the best settings. All you need to do is watch my videos. If you understand it, good, you can do it. But if you don't, leave it to me. You can just watch my videos. I have lag fix video for almost every game. Well comment below if I should make a separate video on config file editing where I will tell you my secrets of editing the config file and getting the best performance. So after making the changes in the config file, always make sure to save the file and set it to read only. So the game will not change it back to the default settings. This is how the game works after the config changes. You can see the difference already. So guys, we are done with two steps. The next one is shorter but the impact it can have on a game is just really crazy. Installing mods is just an upgraded way to edit the config files. It's more risky, complicated but at the same time can give tremendous FPS boost. But not every game has mods or has supported. Like in an online multiplayer game, you can't use mods. It can easily get you banned. On the other hand, mods can literally change the whole game if done carefully. Do one step wrong and your whole game is not a game anymore. So always make sure before editing any game files or installing any mods, back up the original files. Well, finding mods is easy, especially for low-end PCs. Just go to Google and type in your game name with low-end PC mod. Be careful with what you are downloading. Many mods could be malicious and harm your PC. Always download mods from trusted websites like Nexus Mods, ModsDB, etc. Well, after downloading the mod, Read the instructions to install it. Every mod has a different way to be installed. Well, so when you are done with the mods, you are done optimizing your game 90%, but 10% is still remaining. So let's see it. So, most of the games we play are either launched using Steam or Epic Games or any other game launcher and adding launch commands for a game can improve its performance to an extent. Well, there are many launch commands and different commands for different launchers. These are some general commands for most popular game launchers out there. And we are done with the launch commands. I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are still watching, please comment below. COD Modern Warfare 3 sucks. It will mean a lot to me. We are done with the cake and you all know it's time for the cherry. Well, you all know the cherry is Windows Tweaks. On my channel, I have literally made every optimization video possible with the best possible working tweaks in the shortest time possible. No bullshit guides, straight up tweaks. You can watch any video from this and I guarantee you 100% your PC performance will improve with increasing your game FPS. I don't know how many of you watched till here. If you are still watching, thanks for watching till the end. And we are at the end of this video and these are the results after doing all the steps shown in this video. This is how my game works. You can clearly see the difference. Now you are officially ready to optimize any game. I have given you all my secrets. Or you can tell me in the comments which game you want me to optimize and I will do everything for you. All you need is just to follow me. It may happen that even after doing all the steps your game might still be unplayable. 
well in that case just accept it and move on to another game there are other games waiting for you no point in focusing in what not is working focus on what is you can always try but what if it's not meant to be enjoy gaming not force it